From Zachary, Mr. Clavin, I was ecstatic when Trump got rid of 10 expenditures, which essentially ended the climbing national debt. Uh, later, he gave into a demand for a spending bill that has not only granted more spending, but a spending that is greater than the horrific Obama administration. Will the debt ever be addressed? And that is a really good question. I think it is a crisis question. It's the unspoken crisis. It's the thing that Paul Ryan is retiring without having addressed, the thing he wanted to address, the thing he tried to get people into uh, uh, involved in and to, so they would start to dial back uh, entitlements and advance social security so you collect it a little later and that would help the debt. The problem is, the problem is, is the structure of electoral politics favors stupid spending. So for instance, one of our big problems in California is unpaid pensions, right? We haven't got unfunded pensions. Why does that happen? Well, the guy, the police or the firemen come to the mayor and they say, we want a raise. And the mayor says, look at my budget. I don't have any money in the budget. I can't give you a raise. And they say, well, give me, give us higher pensions. And the mayor thinks to himself, huh, the pensions don't kick in for 10 years. I'll be out of office. What's the diff, right? So he does it. He's not responsible for it. The bill, when the bill comes due, he'll be in Florida on the beach, you know, and, and when California collapses and when some governor, some governor has to go to the police and the fire department and the, and the municipal workers and say, hey, guess what? We can't pay your pensions. We don't have the money. We would have to tax everybody to death to pay off your pensions. That guy is not the guy who, who made the concession in the uh, negotiations. Same thing is true on the federal level. So easy, so easy for these people on the left to say, oh, free this and free that. And I always say, you know, the word free has no meaning. There is no, I mean, maybe the stars and the moon belong to everyone. The best things in life are free. But when you're talking about the labor of others, it all costs money. When they say free health care, that word means nothing. When they say free education, nothing. When you hear somebody say free, what you should translate that in, into is I am standing before for you talking nonsense, so you will vote for me. But the thing is, when you vote for that guy and the the, the bill finally comes due, he's not going to be there anymore. You know, it's then he can then they say to you, oh, we just have to raise taxes on the rich. We just raise taxes on the rich. And then when all the jobs leave and the, the economy collapses and and the spirit goes out of the country, they're gone. It's you know it's already over. So the it's, the structure is built to encourage stupid spending. It takes somebody with moral courage like Paul Ryan to come up and say, we got to address this. And he failed because it was easier. And, and Donald Trump is partly to blame for this. Not only He's not only to blame for it, but he's partly to blame for it for saying, I will not touch your social security. Touch it. You got to. It's the, ba it's the ballast of the debt is that where most of the debt is coming from. It can be reformed and preserved without uh, destroying the country and without destroying a generation. So I'm, I'm not, I won't say I'm optimistic, but I haven't lost all hope. That's the way it comes because people with courage do come along.